Hello, my name's Adam and welcome to UK Theme Parks and today we're going to have a look at a very special video which was provided by the park to the BBC up north of a new simulation image of Icon. Icon, the brand new roller coaster at Blackpool Pleasure Beach for 2018. Now we don't quite know when the ride's going to open yet, however the brand new simulation has come up. So over here now you will see the simulation that has been given to the BBC by the park that is going to be used for all new advertising material. It represents the Icon much better, it represents the size much better, it certainly represents the colours much better and the surroundings much better than the initial video that was released for promotional purposes. Now yes, we know there are some bars in the way of the track as you go around. Please, you know, this is a computer uh, simulation. We had a look at some of the comments on the BBC website. We did find them quite hilarious, to be honest, that people would think they'd be stupid enough to leave bars and restraints and things and what have you in the middle of the track. That's not going to happen. So this is just a simulation so you can see what the ride is going to be like. Now, as you can see, the ride actually looks fairly quick. Um, it will be quicker in real life than what it will be on a simulation, as you can expect. And it does look like it is going to interweave between things just incredibly, incredibly like we haven't seen in the UK before. You know, we don't have rides that interact with other rides very often. Blackpool's always been very good at squeezing things in. And, you know, Icon, a modern day coaster, is going to squeeze in really, really nicely with the other surroundings, with the older rides, the newer rides, and kind of the rides in the middle in the big one and Infusion as well. So that's the simulation. We think it looks amazing. The BBC put that one up, so it's with BBC that we use that video, but that's come from... Uh, Blackpool Pleasure Beach themselves. Blackpool Pleasure Beach actually uh, put a video up as well. You know, the, the track was placed into, uh, the final piece was placed into place um, only a couple of days ago. So a couple of days ago, the final piece has gone in. Uh, Amanda Thompson and the crew there signed the final piece before it went in and now testing and getting everything together can finally start beginning. Um, she did say during the video that they don't know when the opening date is going to be yet. So we are still a little bit in the dark for this. Um, you know, testing certainly launch systems. I would like to think that launch systems and electronics have been being done whilst the ride has been being completed. But, you know, I don't really, I'm not an engineer. I don't really know kind of the, the, the stance on this and where they would have been. But I'm pretty sure a lot of it will be in place. We're probably thinking it's between six and eight weeks away from the beginning of the season. So I have a feeling this is going to be a late May, early June opening. But that is just a guess. The park will certainly want it open for the summer season. I would imagine now that Mac will really push this hard to get the ride open for Blackpool because it's going to make a massive difference, not only to Blackpool Pleasure Beach, but to the UK theme park industry. They also said in the video they work with local businesses, including Merlin, to make sure that it attracts the most people to Blackpool. You know, Merlin have quite a big presence in Blackpool with the tower, the sea life, and the dungeons, and of course, Madame Two Swords. So, you know, it's their benefit as well that people come to Blackpool. Whilst they haven't built this ride, it's of their benefit that more and more people come to Blackpool. Now, the ride itself, looking at the simulation, reminds us very much of Cheetah Hunt at uh, Bush Gardens in uh, Tampa Bay, Florida. Now, the reason why we say that is, although that's an Intamin ride, not a Mac ride, we've yet to ride a Mac Mega Coaster, which is being opened here. We haven't been around Europe to see those ones yet, but we hear they are spectacular, and this one looks spectacular. You know, Cheetah Hunt is not the tallest ride in the world. It's not the fastest ride in the world by any stretch of the imagination, but it is amazing, amazing fun. The turns, you know, the twists, the kind of, you know, close scenery. And although we're going to be kind of swapping uh, grass and rockland to uh, Big Dipper, Infusion, and Steeplechase, you know, at the end of the day, the close misses are close misses, and they definitely add to the tension. This ride looks really windy, really bendy, really quick. And although it is more of a ground hugger than it is kind of up into the skies, and we know there are a few launches that go into the skies, into the turns and things, we expect this ride to be one of possibly even the best ride that we've seen in the UK. You know, something eventually has got to knock Nemesis off its perch in the UK. However much love there is for Nemesis and not for Nemesis as well, um, you know, it is a spectacular ride and is easily the best ride we have in the UK, whether you love it or hate it. And, you know, Icon has the potential, without a doubt, of being right up there with the best. And although people don't seem to think it will be because it ground hugs and everything like that, for those that have been on Cheetah Hunt, you will probably appreciate what I'm saying. This ride could be spectacular. So we have a new simulation. It's great to see. We don't have an opening date yet, sadly, but the last piece of track is all screwed together now and we expect testing to begin soon. Testing will probably have to happen while the park's open, so you can expect a lot of videos to flood the internet soon of Icon going around and we can get a real sense of the speed. 
We hope you enjoyed this. My name's Adam. This has been UK Theme Parks, and we'll see you next time.